Hi, my name is John, and today I'm going to be going over a tutorial that I would like to call double negatives. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, what you see on the screen is a sign that somebody has requested that I make. I've been trying to avoid the garage during the heat, but the heat's come down about 10 or 15 degrees, and the sign needs to be done by somebody's birthday. So um, while I'm making a sign, I might as well go ahead and create this tutorial because it's not something I've done in the past. and I think it comes in really useful. So what you see on the screen is this sign. This is my 2x4 table so I'm, I'm creating a sign that maxes out uh, my table and it's going to be for the Williams family and they would like this elk placed right inside of, of this pattern with all of the details. Um, ignore the mountains on the right for now. In fact let me go and make sure these are all in the same layer. Um, so double negatives. Why do I need double negatives? Well, I'll, I'll show you. If I center this, if I highlight both these objects, Alt-K, and do a center and center, toggle my show fill with an Alt-S so I can see things. If I were to take this elk, move it down, and take these two signs and try to do an XOR weld, while you see everything here, um, all of these pieces are going to get dropped out and we're going to lose a lot of detail on the elk. We want the detail, and so what we're going to do is create what I call a double negative. I don't know if that's necessarily the appropriate term, but it describes it in a way that I understand. So I'm going to take this elk and duplicate it with a control D for duplicate. Um, I'd recommend getting used to these commands. I, I would show you where they're at, but I don't remember anymore, um, you know, these tools. And so uh, I'll try to mention the hotkeys as I use them. So I'm going to take this elk, I'm going to break it apart, control B, and I'm going to take all of its inner pieces that would normally be cut out and delete them. What I'm working with is this silhouette. And just bear with me, I'll show you what I'm doing and then it'll all make sense here in a minute. So if I take this image now and highlight it and I come over to this stroke and fill tools and come to this line style tool, I'm going to click on this thick line and I'm going to thicken that line and I'm going to do it by um, let's say 5 eighths an inch and the reason why I say 5 eighths is because I've created this tutorial already with a 3 quarter inch line it seemed a little thick to me a quarter inch line seems a little thin I'm making it 5 eighths which is actually going to be um, I think 5 sixteenths by the time it's said and done uh, what you have to realize is when you do this line thickness tool it expands the line by 0.63 um, overall and it does it from the center line so that means if I have a line and I do a one inch line I'm going to go a half inch one direction and a half inch in the other direction I wanted a little bit I wanted a 5 16 gap so I doubled that and now I'm going to click the basic weld and what that did is it's fattened, fattened that line up by half of whatever I put in there so if you put an inch, you'll have a half inch gap. So if I center these with a control K and zoom in, you can see if I were to measure this line. Uh, there we go. This point to this point, we're about, I didn't quite measure that right. We're just under 3 eighths of an inch, I believe. 0.375 would be 3 eighths of an inch, so we're just under that, but we're over a quarter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, oops, Control Z, get that back on there, take this image and then select this one and Control K to center them on each other. And I'm going to take these and move them down. This elk is a little big for this area, so let me just shrink it down a little bit, recenter it, Control K, bring this down. And this is where it's going to start to make sense. So I'm going to take this outside expanded image of the elk and do an XOR weld on this sign. If I do an Alt-S, you can see what I'm trying to accomplish. 
I'm trying to take this male cutout, put it in a what would normally be a female cutout, but I want to keep all the draw everything the way it it, it is as you see it. Um, now, if I were to cut this out, this whole center piece would drop out. So what we have to do is bridge it. First of all, I'm going to break this piece apart just because I know I haven't taken all of these pieces and weld, doing an XOR weld, so I'm going to group them with a control G, XOR weld them onto this piece, and nothing's changed from what you can see. But let's go ahead and create these bridges. So I'm just going to take my box tool, and I'm just going to come down here, and I want to make sure I'm probably at least a quarter of an inch. Yeah, let's make it three-eighths of an inch. If I can type right, three divided by eight, hit enter. So three-eighths of an inch wide. That's a little thick maybe, but we'll work with it. And I'm just going to duplicate that a few times. So control D. I'm going to go ahead and put a section maybe right here. And what I'm going to be doing is bridging these pieces roughly in the areas that I'm placing them. And as large as this sign is, I want a few bridges. You could you could probably go get away with three of them but um, I want to make sure this is stable. So I'm going to take this piece, maybe try to rotate it, make it look like the scenery around it. Let's try to divide this uh, between this point and this point roughly. And I'm just going to select the inner object, the outer object, and do a basic weld. And excuse my sniffling, I've got a little bit of a cold. And now I'm going to blend this bridge in. I'm just going to take this shape and try to make it look a little bit more natural than it does now maybe not maybe don't make it too symmetric you know drag some lines around and you may have to play with it for a while to kinda of get a good idea of what it might look like this looks a little too symmetric right here so if I alt S and toggle my fill you can see this is the bridge I created looks a little funny um, but you can come in here and mess with these things later and and try to uh, you know get it to look a little more natural alright so we'll call that good for now what I'm going to do is basically go around the whole image alt s to toggle that fill again and I'm going to duplicate this process a few times so I'm going to use my hotkeys. Um, I'll mention what they are. Some of them are custom hotkeys, so they won't be available on yours unless you've set up your hotkeys to match. Alt S is a normal hotkey. Control 2 to do a basic weld on these. And just because I've done this a few times, I know that right here in the center of the back, as we're doing a bridge like this, it'll look a little better if I thin that out look a little more natural maybe uh, thin it out even more let's take this point delete it do the same over here and then maybe eh, just put a little curve on that I think that looks okay I could be wrong um, take this piece let's rotate it 90 degrees I don't like this piece in his neck necessarily however um, I need a bridge over in this area and, it, and it, it's probably my best option so I'm just highlighting these doing a basic weld um, trying to blend this in as much as possible and make it look not so obvious and you can see that one looks quite obvious um, so you, you can come in here and just delete these points and maybe thin it out just a little bit more. I don't want to get too thin though because this this does need to contrast a little bit um, from the background but I'll thin it out a little bit. Um, to zoom in and out like you see me doing I'm just rolling my my mouse wheel up and down. Okay so we've got that bridge now that actually looks pretty decent and I have two more bridges that I want to complete up here on the antlers so again come up here Let's thin these out a little bit. Rotate them about the same degree as the antlers. A little thin. Arrow keys. 
um, to help move that piece into position. Do a basic weld. Let's delete all these points in the middle so it looks like it flows a little more naturally. Alt S. And you can see we bridge that. The only concern I have is how thin this piece is right here. If I take a measurement, I'm just a little over a sixteenth of an inch. So I think I want to widen those just a little bit. I can almost double them. And if I apply that and look at that again, it doesn't look too bad. Says the guy that doesn't ever go hunting and isn't really particular about what the elk look like. Um, some of you that may be out there and hunting all the time may not like the look of this, but um, it's the principle I'm trying to show you. So I'm just delete. I double click on these, and I noticed if I go and delete the points in between, I can usually get a more fluid look. So that's what I'm aiming for. All right, so now I'm bridged here at the neck, bridged here at the back, a couple of places in the grassy area and up here on the antlers and that is going to be a pretty stable piece let me save this save as all right but I want to show you this um, in a couple of different instances and this is where the mountains come in so I'm going to break I'm going to go do a control Z and undo everything that I just did and I'm going to take this piece in the middle and instead of having to go through all the steps again showing you how I did all that I'm I'm not going to do that I'm just going to go ahead and um let me just do this I'm breaking this apart and I'm just showing you a couple of tricks for sign making alright so let's move this off here there's some cool things you can do with signs and this is where you start to get a little bit more depth if you have a mountain well we'll get to the mountains in a minute All right, this is where you get some really cool things you can do with um, signs. It's to take these images and maybe put them slightly on and off of uh, you know a piece like this. So you go about the exact same steps. You take your outside image and XOR weld it. Actually, let me duplicate this. Control D, so I don't have to do it again and control D. I just want a couple more of those because I'm going to be showing you some things. Um, take these outside, the outside image around the elk and XOR weld it with whatever piece you're trying to join it with. Then you can come and delete this outside piece. And then if you were to go and bridge this as I'm not showing right now, you can get this piece partially on and partially off. You, you know, you'd probably bridge it right here right up here maybe right in the grass for sure you could easily bridge this here and then once down here give yourself at least three points and then you can come in here and you know make a sign you know do a mountain range or whatever you wanted to do and give your sign some depth you can do some really cool things with that let's go ahead and uh, do the exact same thing alt test to toggle my fill in an image that already has cutouts such as um, this mountain here if you were to try to combine them, you're going to get some f possibly funny looks like this. So just be careful how you do it. But if I were to take this mountain, break it apart, get rid of all of the stuff in, in the middle, and this, you know, you'll you'll go and mess with the proportions, unlike what I'm doing right now, to a degree. Um, but the exact same thing. Take the image you want to silhouette it against, do an XOR weld, delete this outside piece now, and you can go ahead and put in things like this. Um, I, I put it imported this other mountain range. It would be unnecessary. You, you know, you just mess with it. But these are some cool things that you can do, and it's an easy way to do it. So, again, to summarize, our steps to get started at least. You take your image, you duplicate it, control D, control B to break it apart, delete all the dropouts inside, 
highlight your image again, come over here to the line style tool, create on the thick line button, and I know I'm moving fast so make sure you pause the video if you need to, put in double the size of the gap that you want, so if you want a half inch gap around this whole thing, put in one inch, and what, before stepping off and clicking anything, make sure you come in here and do a basic weld. Um, there, if that does not work for you, look at my other tutorial on how to get that to work. Um, it did not work for me for a while, and, and I found the trick to it and put it in a video. Then you could take these two images and center them. So highlight the first, the two images, Alt K, with last aligned last object selected. You can center and center, and those are the basic steps other than welding. You'll take this image, you'll go and cut it out of whatever you want. This one will be in between and you have to bridge it at that point. So that's, this, that's the conclusion of this tutorial. Again, you can do some really cool things with this, um, such as signs like this or, let me pull up the one I just did, or doing something like this. Um, this sign I still have to work on, but that's not covered in this tutorial. I, I'm going to uh, put some trees and things in there too and make it look a little bit better. So again, accomplishing this look and accomplishing this type of look, which I actually really like, I think this is cool, is really easy, really simple. If I'm not describing it, I can do it in a matter of minutes. Um, you got to play around with it. You can get some really cool images. Speaking of images, um, I'm not getting any uh, benefits or anything for giving this guy a plug, but um, the mountains, the elk, and the, all of the scenery comes from Sign Torch. I think it's his 2011 bundle. I'm not positive about that, but I purchased them from him, and um, you can do some really cool things with the images already. So, again, he's not giving me anything. He doesn't even know I'm putting this plug in for him, but um, there's some really cool images, and I've been able to make some cool things with the things that he's provided. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks.